Hello, my name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software. I want to talk to you about something different today. What I'm going to do is, um, well, Microsoft's released this whole new uh, SQL Operation Studio thing, right? Whole new way to query, access, and plug into your um, SQL Server instances and blah, 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 blah. Cool. Let's unbox it. I've never used it. I haven't installed it. Let's see what happens. You ready? We're going. All right, let's get our hands on this thing. SQL Operations Studio, right? Download and install Microsoft SQL Operations Studio. There it is. Okay. Well, let's just do the preview installer for Windows. Yes, it'd be cool for doing Mac or Linux, but we're just going to do Windows for now. Okay. Next. I accept. Next. Good enough. Next. Cool. Cool. Install. Huzzah. There we go. Next, 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 okay. Cool, finished. Awesome. Here it is. SQL Operation Studio, first look. Um, seems kind of sparse. <laughs> All right, let's try a new query. See what happens. Oh, now is it still starting up? Ah, it is. Look at that. Should we read the manual? Should we quickly get started here and read the manual? No, I don't think so either. Oh, it's not working. <laughs> Aha! Now it wants a connection. Okay, cool. Eventually caught up to us. Let's connect up to that. Not going to worry about the database, server group. Interesting. Cool. Connect. All right. Oh, well, server dashboard thing going on. Cool. Why is that red? Why is that red? Okay, so obviously you can see what's going on there. Backup status, 324 hours. I will say, because most of these have not been backed up at all. Um, databases, Metroworks 2017. Cool. Neat. Oh, look at that. Data files, data sizes, all that fun stuff. Okay, cool. Yeah, our logs are a bit bigger on a couple of these because I haven't been messing around with them. All right. Not bad. Fine. Let's connect up to a database. If we can. Oh, let's connect to the server first. Okay. We'll just use the existing one, right? Select that and connect. Nice. I like that. Okay, let's pick a database. Interworks 2017. 
sales doesn't say anything dot aha uh -huh. sales order header there we go S S O H no <laughs> so H hang on join cool hang on let's slow down a little bit right join oh neat now if I hit enter does it okay cool and what if I hit space join space ah no I'll have to work on that um, sales dot sales order detail so D oh stop that so D on SOH dot aha okay not bad not bad not great sales order ID that's right equals SO D okay cool dot okay not too bad where Forty-two. That's always the answer, right? Uh huh. Now here we go. I'm gonna hit Control E. See what happens. Uh, okay, that didn't help. Is it? Was it F five? I always forget the function. Yep. Okay, that was the function. It ran. Cool. What about the explain plan? Oh, you're killing me. Oh man. Really? That's it? No. Oh, that's bad. What the heck? Oh, no. All right, not picking on it. This is, this is you know, moment one, right? We shouldn't be picking on it at all. But I'm just a little disappointed in the um, properties displayed from the uh, select operator. That's okay. It's all all right. Another set of icons, by the way, different from the other icons. Now, can we Hang on. slow down a little bit? Select cool star from uh, okay no. No drag and drop ability here that I can see. New query, select top 1000, edit data. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, that's, you know, it's interesting. It's interesting. I mean, I, I, you know, eh, it's interesting. Um, cool. It's all pretty neat. I mean, you know, it's very different, right? I mean, it's a huge step off. You know, there's the top operations. There's the results. And, oh, it's doing a show plan. It's literally doing the show plan XML, so you can capture that. So if you do want to see the header information, you know, um, um, you know what the ANSI padding settings were, um, the handles, you know, reason for early termination, all that fun stuff, it's all right up there. You know, good enough plan found. Cool. You know, that's all right. Okay, cool. What's this? Task history. Oh, neat. All right. All right, what stuff's been open? So what happens if we save this? Let's, uh, let's clean it up a little bit so it's actually a decent query. Control, save. Okay, SQL query one, fine, save. Change the icon in any way? No. Huh. Neat. Well, I like red for obvious reasons. Haha. <laughs> What's the search do? I don't know. Let's see. Product. Ah, it searches here. So if I say sales. Haha. <laughs> see? And then we can do a search and replace. Okay, that's cool. Source control, awesome, out of the gate. Wow, cool. 
Uh, lines, spaces. Oh, interesting. Look at that. Oh, that's kind of cool. Huh. Wow. That's different. Okay. Okay. Oh, it auto detects the language style. Oh, look at that. JSON, Markdown. Huh. Oh, that's where the red is SQL. So it's detecting the language. Oh, interesting. Right. Look at that. And then what's a little happy face? How's your user experience? Okay, yeah, it's good. Interesting and different recording of video while I do this. Unfortunately, it's not going to um, tweet because I don't have the, this connected up. Oh, it did. No. I was going to say, I don't have this connected up to, uh, I don't have this machine connected up to Twitter, so it wouldn't work. Okay, cool. That was interesting. Um, no problems. Interesting. It would take us right to where the problems were. And if we're managing linked accounts... Huh. Okay. It's a little blinky on the cursor, but I can't tell what it's doing. Okay, cool. Let's see. File. We already did a new query by accident. Add folder to workspace. Save a workspace. Install an extension. Hopefully we'll be seeing some stuff around that soon. Okay, cool. Edit. Find, replace. View. Command palette, interesting. Huh. Huh. Interesting. Okay, servers, we've already seen. Tasks. No task history, okay. Explorer. Right, and we've seen it at work. Okay, cool. Uh, what's SCM? No oh, source control. Okay, cool. Problems integrated terminal toggle full screen. Interesting stuff. Is there options or settings or something? Huh. I don't see anything. Ah, preferences. Hang on. Cool. Huh. It, am I right? Am I editing JSON? <laughs> oh, wow. Um, on the one hand, wicked, wicked cool. On the other hand, oh, lordy God. Um, hmm. Okay. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. User settings. Okay. You can edit right there. So you modify the editor, modify the workbench. Woo, man, a whole bunch of other stuff. Look at that. SQL editor specifically. I wonder if we can turn on the space. <laughs> Telesense is enabled. Cool. Just hate having to use enter for the Intellisense. Okay, um, unboxed out of the gate. This is pretty good. It is different. Um, it's definitely going to take some getting used to. Um, I won't lie. Um, yeah, look at that. That's very different. Um, yeah, look at that. All these different things that you can do. Huh. Wow. 
Oh, so you can add queries to create these widgets. Interesting. Okay. Very interesting. Um, it's a different experience, right? I mean, right out of the gate, it's, you know, look at, here we are. Um, it's not, you know, daddy's management studio, right? Um, Yay! <laughs> right? I mean, come on. Um, Woohoo! Okay, cool. So, I mean, there's a lot of options here. There's a lot of things going on. It's very different. Um, functionally, it's somewhat primitive in some ways. Um, I can see that it's going to expand and grow. Um, especially, this is going to be useful for people who are coming in from Linux, um, who are coming in from uh, uh, Macs and um, who want to get into this stuff and use it, um, I'm, I'm probably going to short-term uh, be sticking mostly with Management Studio. Um, if for no other reason, I'm right in the middle of um, multiple uh, books, and um, this um, is not going to get put into my books. Not yet. Um, something, you know, soon, but not yet. Um, Interesting, interesting. It's all very interesting. Um, well, let's wrap it up. Okay, that's different, right? Um, pretty excited about it. Uh, the install was flawless. It connected up, you know, flawlessly. Um, every single thing that we tried just pretty much worked. Uh, so out of the gate, it's functional. Now it's bare bones functional, but hey, this is, um, they're, they're going with, you know, a very lean, agile approach. And not only do I respect that, I endorse it. Um, so well done. Well done, Microsoft. Uh, this is, this is interesting. This is new. Um, and, and, you know, we're going to, it's going to grow and expand and, and we're probably going to see changes, uh, moving forward, um, in, in all kinds of stuff. And, um, I'm excited, right? I've, I'm not down on it. The execution plans are a little disappointing, right? I'm just a bit disappointed. Um, the icons are different um, from every other set of icons I've been working with so far. Um, and we just replaced the icons in, in Management Studio 2017. Honestly, I would have thought they'd use those new icons um, instead of introducing yet another set. Um, but, but you know, that that's a nit, right? That's a nit. Let's be honest. Um, that's not an important thing. The important thing is the functionality. The important thing is what they're offering up to us. And that's looking really, really good. Um, thanks for, thanks for this, um, information, Microsoft. I appreciate it. Uh, nice try. Thanks for watching. My name is Grant Fritchie. Um, uh, I work for Regate Software.